I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Friday, February 24th, 2023. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Well, at this point, we're seven days out from the real kickoff to the contest season, which means that we might only be seven days away from seeing Nick Walker take the next step towards carving out his own little slice of bodybuilding history by winning his second Arnold Classic title in three years. Nick's been plastering photos all over social media all throughout his prep, so it's not like we're breaking any news here by telling you that his conditioning is as good as it's ever been, not to mention the fact that he's kept up with the trend of trimming down his waistline, which only makes his strengths look even stronger when he's working through the mandatories. He's one of the few people in bodybuilding who actually lives up to his nickname because this guy might be a real life mutant. And by the time next week rolls around, everyone in Columbus will get to find out firsthand just how much of a freak he really is when he goes out there and tries to establish himself as one of the best young bodybuilders of his generation. Now with all due respect to Nick and his one and potentially two Arnold Classic titles, Sean Clarita is the more decorated athlete between the two in this lineup. And at this point, I think everyone who knows inside bodybuilding understands how much of a threat Sean truly is to bring the whole thing home. Outside of the fact that he'll be outsized, when you look at his physique, you're hard pressed to find a single flaw. And the truth of the matter is that we can't say that about anyone else on the roster. The stuff we've seen from Sean over the last couple of weeks has been wild, especially when it comes to his conditioning, because I honestly don't know if there's going to be anyone else out there in the lineup who can challenge him in that department. Now, whether or not that alone will be good enough to give him the edge over Nick Walker if they're both at 100% is probably a topic for another day. But for the purpose of this conversation, Sean Clarita deserves to be on everyone's short list when it comes to title contenders in Ohio. So here's the other thing. Even if Sean and Nick are at their best, that might all end up being a moot point if you believe the buzz that we're hearing coming from Rami's camp over the last few weeks. You know about the stem cells and some of the issues he had heading into the Olympia that caused him to tumble down the scorecards. But we've heard over and over again that those issues have been corrected. And for that, the big man is on track to show the world that not only is he not done, he also has another gear that he can tap into, which would be really something if it's true considering where he's at at this point in his career. Not too long ago, a 100% big Rami was the most untouchable man in bodybuilding. So if that guy makes a surprise appearance in Columbus, everyone else can go home because no one up there will have enough ammunition to go to war with that. Now, outside of Rami, if you had to pinpoint another premier name who needs to come out and have a good showing here, William Bonac would be a pretty safe choice. We've heard from William's team that he had some issues of his own that he was dealing with through the better part of last year heading into his Olympia prep, which doesn't necessarily feel like it's that far out of left field when you consider the amount of miles that he's put on with all the shows he's done over the last seven or eight years. But with that being said, we are still talking about William Bonac. The man is a multi-time Arnold Classic champ, and he was also a perennial top three finisher at the Olympia for a handful of years. So it's not like he doesn't have a blueprint to make his way back to that level. The man is a future Hall of Famer, so I wouldn't put it past him to have a few more good rounds left in the tank. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. 
and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.